one to your workout for today. So your workout that you're going to be doing is LBT, which stands for legs, bums and tongues, okay? So all we're going to need for this workout is you're going to have to grab yourself a set of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, don't worry about it, you can just do it body weighted. Or you can grab some household objects that kind of make it a little bit more uh, difficult for you. You will also need an exercise mat if you do have one, or if not, you can just use a cushion surface. Um, what we're going to be doing is we have two different rounds. The first round, we're just going to be focusing solely on the legs and the bottom. And then the second round is just focusing solely on the core, okay? So we've got 15 exercises in circuit number one, and we're going to be in for 30 seconds of work with just 10 seconds of rest. We're going to go straight through from the top to the bottom, then we're going to have a big 60 second to 90 second recovery, depending upon how we are feeling, and then we're going to reverse it all the way back up again. Then we're going to move on to circuit two, which is focused on the tummy, and we'll get to that when we get around. But first of all, I need to warm us up. So, give yourself a little march for me. Warming through these legs. Now we're going to warm the arms a little bit, so we'll bring them around. Thank you. 
I'm going to be using. I will show you. Just your next time, just set up my timer. Make sure as well, guys, you've got your balls ready. All right. So.
Bouncing right back. Nice pat. Don't grab the shoulders. Well done. Okay. Side lunges. Dumbbells resting. Let's go. So deep side lunge. Push the bottom right back. We're going to alternate. Keep that leg upright. Push from that outside. Let's go back.
gonna get straight in. This time reverse it. So 15 exercises, reverse. Okay? That first one's that squat hold, it's killer. Woo. Okay, while you're taking your rest, if your legs are hurting, just give them a little shake, walk around the room, just keep them mobilized, keep your body active, keep your heart rate high. Alright. And for 20 seconds, and we're going straight into it again. Okay. A little bit more. Right. Let's start my timer. So that's squat hold. Let's go. Bottom, close, 
right back. You want to sit into it. Keep your head up. Last few. 
really rub my mat. As we're moving onto our core. All right. So, your core round. All we're going to need is one dumbbell. So you can pop one dumbbell to the side and just hold on. Do this when we roll nine. Away. So it's out of the area. Okay, so for our core round, we've got the exact same timings again. However, we only have five exercises. All right, so we're going to go down the five exercises. We're going to repeat three times through. So, first one. You're going to hold that dumbbell up in this position. And what you're going to do is, your legs are going to do a single raise. So, you're going to come down and in, down and in, okay? To make this exercise harder, what we can do is bring our shoulder blades off the floor so that back is constantly flat against that mat and we perform the leg raise there, okay? I advise, if you want to improve core strength, trying this but make sure that your back is an arch as you are doing it you want it nice and flat to the mat so just tilting the pelvis down and control it from there that's number one i will show you number two in your rest okay so 30 seconds in let's go shoulder blades up stable if you struggle with lower back i like to remove the dumbbell
Start to our beginning. Remember that move? That single leg raise. Remember that? If you do feel it in your back, you know the modifications to use, the regressions. If you feel it, it's a little bit easy, use the progressions, okay? Let's go, team.
to so stay where you are for me. I'm going to stretch it out from here. Ooh, that was quite tough, that. Good little finisher to end off on. And I want you to reach up all the way. So you're going to give those arms a nice deep stretch. Superb work, guys. You managed to complete it and stay with us. Even if you use progressions, uh, re regressions. Really good. Okay, so we're going to stretch through this leg. So I want you to bring one leg up for me. And you're just going to go like, grasp behind that knee, nice and gentle pull towards yourself. And then I want you to tilt your toe up to the ceiling and then down towards you. Hold it for a slight two seconds, pop it back up to the ceiling, and then right back down towards you. Now I to bend that knee for me. We're going to stretch through the glute, so you're going to take this other arm out, you're going to look over at the arm, and you're just going to pull that knee right over. Stretch through that hip as well. Perfect. Superb. Take that leg down and then bring the other leg up for me. Perform the exact same. So just grasp behind the knee. Gentle pull towards yourself. Leave that stretch. Point that toe up. Hold it for two seconds. Then point down. Point up. And then down. Then bend. Take it over again, take the other arm out, look over at the arm. You will feel this in your lower back area as well, which is perfect. Just make sure you don't push too far over. Don't make a fan then, do I? Too far over. Okay, take that over. Release that leg down for me, okay? Now I want you to roll over onto your back. And we're just gonna stretch out the lower part of your back, the lower region here. So place the hands and the side. And you're just going to gently push yourself off and I want you to tilt that head back. Ooh, feel that stretch. All right, and then we're going to bring it down. Exhale. Then inhale as you push off, hold your breath at the top. Exhale as you come down. Okay, one more time. Inhale up. Now warm up, I like to bring the foot to the hand, but this time you're going to hold the stretch in this position. So you're going to dig that heel into the floor and you're going to feel that hip open up area and also that glute and have a nice big stretch through. Okay, pop that knee down, lift up and lunge forwards. Again, you're going to open up this hip area. Place the hands back down, take that back, opposite side, foot forwards, reach. Push that heel into the floor, drop the knee down, lunge it forwards. Perfect, hands down, bring that foot towards, stretch all the way through the hamstrings. Feet together, slowly roll up, roll the shoulders back, we're going to stretch through the quads, so turn to face you, make sure your knees together, gentle hip foot push forward, release that down, change, Ooh, you can feel it in these quads, knees together, gentle push forward. Release that down, and then finally just take a big squat, deep breath. And out, one more time, big deep breath. And massive round of applause. Super work guys, well done. Thank you for joining me. Please leave a comment below what you thought of our workout. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.